Ah. Oh. Thank God you're here. I thought you left already. Please, I... I need a back-end report for spas. All right? Okay. I... Are you okay? Oh, what's wrong? Sam, it's been days. I would say I haven't heard from him. Anna, and I've told you, Kesley is a big guy. He can take care of himself. I'm not disputing that. I'm only saying he should have reached out to one of us. Oh, yes, I, I get you. Go, oh, listen, do not get yourself worked up, okay? Maybe he's cut up with work and... I mean, I am, I am sure he will reach out when he can. Thank you. Yes. Oh, please help me with the file and... Come on, get yourself out of this mood, okay? So he hasn't reached out to you? Yes. If he has, believe me. I will definitely tell you. Thank you. Ah, be good. Ah, I'll be expecting the fire. Right, thanks. So you're still doing this, sir? Right? It's been five days now. So? He has not called you. What are you going to do about it? Stay here and cry till you die? She didn't have to say that. Maybe something happened. And you're the one who told me he's been online on WhatsApp. Look, if a man truly loves you, he cannot go 12 hours without talking to you. Talk more of five days, babe. Five. If he honestly kids and loves me, and I love him too, it's just that. It's just that he does not give a hoot about you. He doesn't care. Look, he might be busy doing God knows what. But you're here, about to kill yourself because of him. Does that make any sense? Faye, you're not sure what happened. Babe, you cannot keep making excuses for him. For all we know, that guy might be somewhere with another woman and here you are killing yourself. It doesn't make sense now. Look, you, you just need to wake up, okay? Hold on. Did you say Sam told you he hasn't heard from him yet? That's a lie. It's not possible. And you know what? I'll prove it to you. When the heart is blinded by love, shadows seem like reality. When the heart is blinded by love, shadows seem like reality. Ooh. Where is Kingsley? Were you not supposed to say hi first? Oh God, the crap. Just tell me where Kingsley is. Wow. He went on a work assignment and... You know that's a lie. You know it. Listen, Sam. My friend is worried sick. She's crying herself to sleep every other night because she doesn't know what might have happened to the man she loves. 
I already told her he would reach out when he can. Yes. Sam, pause. Rewind. Now listen to yourself. You sound lame. Look, talk to your friend. It is better he calls her instead of ignoring her. It doesn't make sense. But like I said, he will reach out when he can. Sam, you know that I know that your friend has reached out to you. And the only reason he's not calling Anne is because he has no regard for her. But I have a message for him. Please, tell him to release my friend from the bondage of love. Because he's not ready for this. And she has a life to live. Thank you. Guy Alpha now. Omo, just pick up your phone and call Anne, please. Yes, her friend was her. I'm glad you finally cleaned up and you've got your mojo back. You see, that's what I'm saying. Ah, this Kingsley guy is no what seat. I'm he so called. <laughs> he did. Yeah. And he also said something about you coming to the office to create a scene. He did what? He mentioned what? He's very stupid and mad. Is that not the reason he called you in the first place? He... Sam said Kinsley was busy. You going to the office to create a scene was unnecessary. Ah, Anne. Anne. Ha! Wait, I go out of my way to fight for you. You have to fight for you, not be my problem, oh. And this is, this is all I get. But I didn't ask you to. Mo, na jai walk go do so. Hey, Anne. So this is all you have to say. This is all you have to say, Abby. It's fine, no problem. <laughs> Sam was right after all. About me meddling in your affairs instead of minding my own business. Sorry, yo, see me now. I thought I was looking out for your friend, but no thanks. Hmm? Ma, I will never do it again. Oh? God will help you. It's not me. It's a typical year of our lady. Being unnecessarily dramatic. I mean, she doesn't even understand what a corporate environment is. How can you go about creating scene in an office? Well, Sam was right after all. You don't go about meddling in people's business. I'm sure now she's angry. <laughs> ha! Hey! Amy! Say! Cause this scene! I don't blame you. I blame my overprotective nature. I mean, how can someone, a fine girl like that with so many prospects, allow a man treat her like, like she's nothing? Like she's worth, like, 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 like ah. Ah, oh, no, 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 I need to, I need to start learning how to mind my business. <laughs> So you share whether you're in town? Who? Anne, of course. I beg, I beg, I beg. That girl, Walla, don't do too much. 
if Anne knows I am in town, she's gonna start rushing and ruin all my plans for the weekend. And what evil plans have you this weekend? <laughs> Remember that Abuja babe, the oh, one yeah. with the nice body? Oh, yes. She's coming over this weekend. I see. It is going to be fire for fire. And that is why I am going to resume office on Monday. Ah, oh, fine. But see Kinsley, I'm not trying to play sent here, but I think leading and on can be dangerous for you. Okay. Maybe you should say whatever it is, get done with this and let her go. Look, nothing is dangerous here. I have not proposed to this girl. So let things be as it is. Okay? And you of all people should know why I'm still keeping up with this girl. Uh, you and I should also know that Anne is a good girl and she loves you. Yes, yes. Everybody knows that she's good. She's homely. She's humble. But she's just a booty call to me. And that is not enough. <laughs> Bad guy. <laughs> so she's your kanji stopper. Right? You got it. <laughs> You just have to be careful. Don't worry. Yeah, be I'm careful. Good. I'm a fisherman. There's so many fishes for me to catch. Mm. Yeah. Greatest fisherman of our time. Salute! Oh, shit. <laughs> Baddest. <laughs> yeah. Ah, my own. Ignoring me, me, I want your attention. What did you say? I said you've been ignoring me, knowing I want your attention. Oh, sorry. It's just that I'm minding my business. But you're not talking to me. Auntie, like I say, I'm just minding my business. <laughs> Okay, for you. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said it that way. But you did. You did, Anne. And all for someone who is not even worth the stress. Yes, there you go again. I mean, you don't have to say it that way. Kensley is my boyfriend and I love him. When are you going to figure out that this entire thing is one-sided? When? Okay. Um, is it possible for us to turn this page? I mean, can we stop talking about this topic and talk about something else? Fine. I love you too. <laughs> and you don't love me, oh. I beg. Give it to Kinsley. I don't care. Don't wait, wait, wait now. Don't touch me. No, they touch <laughs> me. Wait, sorry. Ah. You're not like this. Thank you for letting it go, baby. Okay, still so let me tell you. Hmm? I was going wait now. I was going to make spaghetti sauce. But because you've decided to make this slide, I'm making spaghetti bolognese. Oh. Okay? <laughs> I see what you're trying to yeah. do. You're trying to bribe me. Are you taking it? I'm shocked. I no want spaghetti bolognese. I no want. I no want. So no try bribe me. Just just put sure? plenty pepper. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I just know you can never say no. Even if you, see, you can say no to money, mm. but spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> ah. This girl. Is this how cheap you are? And to go and be cooking now. What are you still doing here? Really? Go and be cooking, please. Hey. Go and be cooking. Uh, let's go to the I'll together. fry my face. Eh? Let's go to the eh? No. No. That's not what you told me. You told me you wanted let's to let's cook. Let's go to the I'm not cooking. It's a lie. Look at... Wait, now, wait, let me explain. So, you know the amount of pepper you want. You know, I'm not this Yoruba pepper. Pack like 300 naira. It's fine. Go watch. 
ordering spaghetti for you. Cool. And um, please, I'd also like a glass of juice. I, I okay. Don't go. No, don't even go there. I'm just doing the spaghetti because yeah, I already made it. Ah. Don't forget the pepper. <laughs> I love you too. You are so annoying. I know. Yeah, Mugu. You don't I, I, know. They call me Mumu. You be Mumu? Mugu. <laughs> ah, God. I will pray for you to have sense and don't worry. 7 a.m. fire prayers on your head. No sense. Your bag. Yes. Good to have you back. Yeah, I actually wanted to surprise you. Surprise me? Mm -hmm. Oh, you actually did surprise me. <laughs> How was your trip? It was good. Just work, work, work. Mm. Work, work, work. Mm -hmm. And you call me. I'm right. sorry. I was working, baby. Well, I can always work with you. I know. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Man. So, did you miss me? So much. You sure? I missed you. <laughs> okay. So um can we go to my office? Yeah, sure. All right. Still the same, it's it's not it's, it's not going through. Mm. This is becoming really frustrating because I'm trying to debug this. <sighs> oh, I don't want to change the module, that's the thing. Because if I do, it's just going to... <sighs> Look, as much as I want this ready quickly and in the market, I, mm -hmm. I don't want it to stress you. Okay, why don't you take some time off it and, you know, work your magic? <laughs> oh, you know, I... I don't like starting something and not finishing. More honestly, it's stressful. I know. Mm. How about this? Ah. <laughs> mm. uh, Feels much better? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Crazy fantasy. Okay. So I'll just let it be for a while and then continue much later. Head of crazy fantasy. Fatal attraction, helpless. <sighs> that was amazing. It's always amazing with you, babe. When the heart is by love, shadows seem like the other. Yes. Do you love me? Where is this coming from? Wait, is this the voice of Faye I just heard come out of your mouth? No, babe. So she has gotten into your head so much that you doubt me? No, it's just that it seems like you put, you're avoiding commitment. Are you kidding me? Avoiding commitment? We just had an amazing moment and you bring this up? I'm sorry. You're sorry? You know what? You just messed up my night. I'm sorry. Babe. This love has a terrible effect on you. I don't like it. Faye, do you think he has forgiven me? Eh? Hey. Anne! Yeah? <sighs> Listen to me. If everything you've told me is all that happened, then, babe, you've said nothing that is out of line. No. You needed to see the way I said it. It must have really hurt him. Eh? He run you. 
That is a lie. What happened was he avoided engaging in a decent conversation with you and then blamed you for bringing it up because he is afraid of facing the truth. That's it. How? Anne, have you ever thought that this guy might just be using you? Of a year I work for him. So. <laughs> what? You are not ready for this conversation. Let's just let's leave it alone. Okay, so Faye, do you think I should ask for his genuine forgiveness or maybe get him a gift to apologize? Um let me think. Do you know what you should do? I don't think that will work. Here's what you should do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nail yourself to the cross. Crucify yourself. Sacrifice your life for him. Radha, radha. Nonsense. <laughs> we are going to have a sex feast tomorrow. So when you get in, I will pick you up myself. Okay? <laughs> Yes, baby. It is going to be the survival of the fittest. <laughs> okay, baby, I, I have to go out for you, okay? <laughs> all right, bye. Sorry, Sam. It's all right. Um, Mr. Jeffo called. He asked for the software. You know, um, I don't want to be dealing with that man. He doesn't seem straightforward, so I spoke with Joe about it. So how serious is he about it? He's very serious. We need him to get it ready. Okay, but it's up to you and your babe. I know. <laughs> I overheard you making plans with a lady tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But what about her? What about her? Tomorrow is her birthday. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I, I, I totally forgot. Of course you would. Uh, listen, do not forget to have a project with her. Okay? Do whatever you can to keep her head in the game. I'll see you later. Damn. Tomorrow's her birthday? No, no, no. I can't be available tomorrow. I have to come up with something to make sure I am unavailable tomorrow. Because tomorrow is game time. What? <laughs> and it's back. Oh my goodness. Ah. Hey, what's up? Bye, Dege. What are you doing at home? What do you mean, what am I doing at home? Don't I live here anymore? How did you get here so fast? I just saw Kingsley drive out of the restaurant now. Kingsley? Yes, on my way back from work, I stopped by the restaurant to see my cousin. And I saw you guys driving out. You saw me? Yes, there was a lady in the car now. Who else would it be? I wasn't in Kingsley's car and... Kinsley is out of town for a meeting. <laughs> Faye, mm -hmm. are you sure of what you're saying? <laughs> Anne, I saw Kingsley driving out of the restaurant with a lady in the car. I thought it was you. That's oh. not possible. Let me give him a call. Yeah. <clears throat> well, Kingsley said he was going out of town for a meeting. Out of town, Bao. Yeah, you're fine. Why is 
not picking his corner. I need to get high. Give me a glass of drink. You want to get high, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, just stay right here. Okay. I'll be right back. Mm. Drink coming up. <sighs> Babe, stop getting walked up. Calm down. This is like how many times I've called him. He's not taking my calls. The uncle is busy now. Maybe I'll, I should go to his house. And... Eh? You want to go where? Anne? I don't go anywhere. Oh. Because he told me he's going out. You will see what your eyes will not want to see. Oh. Fine, let me see. You will see what you don't like. Oh, oh okay. Mm. Come back here and be crying. Heartbreak awaits you. Ah, <sighs> Your drink is here. There you go. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, um, honey, let me pick this call. It's very important. Hello, sir. Yes, good afternoon. Um, no, I, I, I sent it to you. Okay, sir, you, you'll get it in my mail by the end of tomorrow. Okay, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh. 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 Who's that? Yes, who's? Hey. 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 Um. I thought you were supposed to be out. Yes, I, 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 I was, but I finished earlier and decided to come surprise you. Surprise me? Yes, I actually just finished getting dressed and was about to come see you. That's a sweet of you. Yeah. But um, I didn't dress like I'm going out. I don't know if this is okay. You are perfect, sure. just as you are. Okay, thank you. Shall we? Uh, okay. No, um, sorry. Let me get the car keys out. I'll write back. Okay. All right. Um, by the way, what are you doing here? Um, I was... I mean, I'm, I'm here. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I'll be back. All right. Um, baby, I am so sorry. Something came up. I, it's work. I need to take care of it. Just give me a few minutes and I'll be right back. It's okay. Make yourself comfortable. There's everything in there, the kitchen, whatever you want. Just do it, okay? Please, I'll see you soon. Huh? Okay, shall we? Yeah. After you. Thank you for your wonderful birthday night. You're welcome. And I apologize for ruining the surprise. No, there's no need to apologize. At least the night was not ruined, so it's okay. But I just wish I could just spend the night at your place. Yeah, I wish the same. Like hold you, cuddle you, look into those beautiful eyes. 
sleep, but maybe I have a lot of work to do. Like a whole lot. Okay, I understand. Alright then, so. See you tomorrow. Okay, yeah, good night. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> good night. Good night. You too. Dream Come about on. me. Call me when you get home. I will. Dream <laughs> about me. Alright. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. What's wrong with this girl? Why is she calling me like that? Hello? Why are you bugging my phone like that? I'm coming. Huh? I'll be there in a few minutes. I did not hear you come in last night. Yeah, that's because I was out for dinner. You? <laughs> really? Yep. So, about yesterday, you were wrong and I overreacted. Is that so? Yeah. Kinsley finished what he was doing, the meeting he was having. He finished earlier than expected and he came back to town just to surprise me and I ruined it by showing up at his place really mm -hmm. <laughs> okay yeah so when I got to his place mm -hmm. he was already on his way to come pick me up and well, left wait you did not enter inside the house no there was no need for that because he was already coming out to come pick me Mm -hmm. Did you knock? Knock? Yeah, I think yeah, I think I knocked. I mean, like I barged into him and, because he was already coming to come take me out. Yeah. And then he got the keys and he left. I had mad fun. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> of course. When the heart is blinded by love, shadows seem like reality. When the heart is blinded by love, shadows seem like reality. Mr. Sam said I should bring this for you to sign. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. I've been thinking about you. Um, I don't understand, sir. As much as I can get my eyes of you. So is my heart. Sir, so I still do not understand. Can you be more specific, please? Why are you acting like a child? Do you know what I want? Every part of my body wants you. Um. Sir, so, everyone here knows that you and Anne are a thing. So why would you want something to do with me? 
why don't you let me worry about that and you focus on me taking care of you right here so shh. You saw me kissing Esther. When? Huh? Did you see our lips touching? You're sorry for what? I thought you were kissing her. You thought. You're always thinking. I'm sorry. You're still saying sorry. Why are you here? I'm okay, you've seen me. Now you can go. I'm busy. You're not saying anything. Since when has my opinion mattered? Fee, don't talk like that now. It's the truth, isn't it? See, I've come to realize the sense in not wasting my time trying to save you anymore. Do you want to know why? Because you already know what you want in your heart. And there's obviously nothing I can do about it. Faye, I love Kinsley. Are you going to blame me for it? I mean, love forgives all, doesn't it? Yeah, sure, it does. You could have saved the suckers in you now. See, Faye, when you finally fall in love, I'm sure you have a better understanding of what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, it's, it's your composure for me. Like you know what you're talking about. Let me tell you, I know what true love looks like. And if Kingsley is your idea of true love, <laughs> Allah Maji. I jump and pass. God forbid. You know you didn't have to do that, right? Um, I told him. You told him what? Listen, Esther. What Kinsley and I have is real, okay? I understand. And I really apologize. I'm, I'm so sorry. You shouldn't have to apologize, okay? I don't just want to repeat of that. Okay.
Thank <laughs> you, Sam. My brainy techie baby has done it again. Oh, your baby, right? Oh, yes, my baby. Or oh, do you have a baby that is smarter than mine? Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> baby, mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. You know, I have always known you will pull this through. Though it has taken years, but look at us, we're here. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. to you. It is to us. Yes, to us. And with this, you have created our lives are about to take a massive toll. Please, tell her, let her know. <laughs> of course, I mean, nobody, nobody has such new innovation on the market. That's because Anne here is a genius. Yeah. I am so, so proud of you. It wouldn't have been possible without you. Hmm. So, you, it is time to go out there look for investors and bring them on board. Yeah, I will do that immediately. Good. Straight up. And cheers to more innovations. And investors. Yeah. And investors, that's right. See, Brainy Tech Baby. <laughs> Shadows seem like real. 